together for shows, everybody. I'm not that sure. I'll just go like this. Now I can see the other side. Hello. Okay. So picture this. The world of mommy bloggers. You all know them. Picture the most beautiful one with the biggest house and the richest husband and the greatest kids and a really, really hard life. Her dad left her mom when she was 15 years old for another man. And she took her blog and made it into this great, huge enterprise of poor children who can't deal with the fact that their dads are gay. And everyone is always like, oh, poor mommy blogger. I feel so bad for you. And she writes these stories upon stories, and she has this huge following, and she's so great and so beautiful and so wonderful and has thousands of followers. But underneath it all, she also has another woman. And that other woman was me. Now, most of the time when you have an affair, on her part, not mine, you try to keep these things quiet, right? You try to have, you know, back room, little kisses, back room conversations. But when you're a mommy blogger and a big blogger, all of a sudden, the whole world knows what you're doing. But this poor girl had no idea that the whole world knew what she was doing when she was doing, well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so one of the great things is that usually, for me at least, when you have a relationship, you try to remember things in your head, right? So it's secret, you try to remember things in your head. When it's online with a social media person, it's all there. So I can actually count our relationship from the beginning, which was May 15th at 9 p.m., when she liked one of my stories and she tweeted it out to the whole world, and she decided maybe she wanted to contact me. And I was a little open about myself, she was a little bit open about herself, and somehow we just connected until the very end, which was November 2nd at 10.50, when I wrote a post for her whole world to see called hmm, Humiliation. And now as I'm telling this, I feel really mean. Um, <laughs> as, you, as you go through her whole, our whole experience, everything that seemed so hidden was so out in the air. Every tweet, every Facebook post, every blog her conference that we went to, she tried to hide herself. She tried to you know, be this good, happy mommy blogger. Um, and she just failed. Um, and now I'm totally losing myself, and I don't remember my point. I feel dumb. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone's staring at me. I, clearly, I'm losing the story slam because I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so really, the biggest thing is, is that Miss Perfect, mommy blogger, who everyone looks up to, really turned herself into this evil character online and had no idea what she was doing. Um, and one of the things that happens when you're in social media is this, this is exactly what happens. You try to create this image of yourself. And it's an image of yourself you may very much believe, but a lot of people can see through it. And what happened with us was we kept seeing each other in little parts. We saw each other at blogging conferences where she would run around with me and then other people would see us and she'd like push me to the side like we were 15 years old and I was the fat girl and she was the cool football player and she didn't want anyone to know. And so, over and over and over again this happened, until finally I went to her house, I spent a whole weekend while her perfect surgeon husband was um, racing Porsches, and I was there with her. And it was great, it was like this thing, I was so in love with her, she said she was in love with me, it was so great, she was gonna like leave him for me. And then I got home, and she writes a blog post about how fat I am, and how she could never ever spend any time with anyone that's so fat. And she told me that I was fat. She has this friend that's so fat, and she had to write her an email about how fat she was. And she realizes now that she's just a big, bad bully. And so, 
Hmm. Uh, everyone wrote comments, you're not a bully, and all these things. So I wrote a post back about my humiliation, about how she told me that she saw me in person, even though we'd seen each other in person like 20 times, and she just couldn't get over it. And I was awful and terrible and gross. So I wrote it, and I put it out there, and now everyone knows that this perfect mommy blogger, who not only is trying to save the world for, you know, from their gay dads, um, who is secretly gay herself, um, she's, she's, she's the evil one. Um, so it's a dangerous world out there because someone like me, who seems perfectly nice and sweet, will actually take revenge on you. So there you go. <laughs>